that like uh, oh, and reputation <laughs> like, and all that. Yeah. Taylor and boom and this love you butterflies. Hmm. so it's a cool yes. video to go yeah, along so with the cute. message honestly though it... bye love you I love you bye should I yell it again no <sighs> Bye. 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 Get out. What's up, guys? Welcome back. I know I didn't put up a video last week. I wish I had a good excuse. Um, I actually filmed a couple videos. I vlogged a little bit on Easter, but I didn't get any, like, video of me talking, so I didn't... I didn't really put it up. I might do it, but I don't know. It's kind of stupid. I might just include it in this vlog. Why do they keep driving by several times? Yeah, we're in Vulture Vlog. 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 I'm not getting in there. I think I should get all the way in. I did. <laughs> oh, careful. Because we haven't really done anything since Easter. Something on my screen here. Is that on Uh -huh. Um, anyway, so we haven't really done anything since Easter, um, but it's Friday! I'm so excited that it's Friday. I mean, I'm a mom, so I don't actually get a day off, but, um, I get to not go to work, and that's fabulous, right? So, there's that. And, um, I think this weekend I'm not really doing anything either. I'm, I might sit down and try to film some videos that I've been wanting to film for a little while, but I don't know. Every, every time I try to film something, somebody's in my way and it's just extremely hard to film when somebody's in your way. Um, every time, I can, I can be sitting there all day long, the kids don't even care that I'm not there, and the minute, the minute I sit down to film, somebody has to come into the living room. It is so beyond annoying. And I'm sure that other, other moms understand. Like, even, even if I, it's not to film, if I'm just, um, why is it? Even if I'm, um, sitting down to make a phone call or sitting down to do anything, if my kids see that I'm sitting down and doing something that I want to do or need to do, they automatically need to be in my area and it drives me absolutely insane so um but I'm gonna try Dave's working this weekend so he'll be um he'll be asleep and I can just sit in the living room and film <laughs> hopefully um, on Saturday, I went and did my eye appointment, which is why I am not rocking my glasses right now. Um, I got some trial contacts. They're not quite my right prescription, um, at least not in this eye, which makes it a little hard to see, but it's not horrible. I really like these so far. Um, they fit my eyes really well, and they I don't feel them in my eye. Uh, a lot so um, this eye tends to give me a little more problems than this eye which is weird because this eye is the one that doesn't have the correct prescription it's got very very close but not still not correct and and um, this one just seems to not like the contacts 
I don't know if it's how my eyeball is or how the contact is sitting on my eye or what, but it doesn't like them. Um, but I also ordered some new glasses and they're super cute. Um, just for days that I don't feel like wearing glasses or yesterday I had an insane headache and I was so glad that I wasn't wearing my contacts. I took them out right when I got to work because that's when I got the headache and I put my glasses on and I was so glad I didn't have contacts in because I knew that it would have been 20 times worse because my eyes are constantly trying to focus um, when I'm wearing these contacts right now because like I said they're not the correct prescription so um, I was so glad that I still had my old glasses also something fun not really happened yesterday um, I was sitting there at my desk and I got a text message or not a text message of a phone alert from Credit Karma um, telling me that someone had opened a Ann Taylor credit card in my name. What? I One, I don't shop at Ann Taylor. Um, I know what Ann Taylor is, and I don't shop there. And second, um, I would not have opened a credit card there anyway. Um, I looked, and it was opened on April 12th. And had re last reported on the 20th so it opened at the beginning of April and no one has charged anything to it at all it's got a zero balance so I'm not sure if somebody used my social security number on purpose or if they did it on accident I don't actually know how that works um, I have credit cards but I only use my social security number to open them so I don't know if like if you um, accidentally give them like a number off or something if it will let it go through even though it's not your name or your address or anything like that because I haven't gotten any kind of statement from Ann Taylor at all so it's going to somebody else's address um, I, I don't know. Um, I did call TransUnion and I told them what was going on and I disputed that the card was mine. And then I um, have to get a hold of uh, the credit card company that holds Ann Taylor and tell them that this is not my account. But at the same time, I'm giving my... Um, social security number to Ann Taylor again and because I don't have the account number obviously because it's not my card and I'm having a hard time doing that because somebody's already got my social social security number and they're already opening something in my name so I don't actually know what I'm supposed to do it scared the crap out of me because I'm pretty um I'm pretty good about not giving my social security number out. I'm good about not using credit cards um, on sketchy websites. Uh, I don't buy from boutique stores or anything like that with my debit card or anything like that. I try really hard not to do those things because I know that it's more likely to happen if you're doing that. So I I stick to, you know, my my store credit cards and I usually use them in store. So that happened. That was real fun. I spent the last hour at work uh, locked in a office trying to figure out what I was supposed to do. Does anybody else notice that I have one eye that's smaller than the other? Did you notice that? I do. good it feels to go home. Oh. Well, maybe some of you do. Maybe all of you do. I don't know. Who is watching this? Leave a comment down below if you're watching this right now. Tell me what you're doing.
I'm going home. As you can see, I threw up my hair. Um, I had it in like a messy bun on top of my head, but it was not working out. So I uh, took it down. Don't make me hit you, Mr. Goose. I'm starving. I hardly ate any of my lunch. I'm not sure if I just wasn't hungry or if the fettuccine alfredo that I had, the lean cuisine, was just not sitting well with my tummy or what, but I am shaking like nobody's business right now because I barely ate anything for lunch and all I've had to eat today was a bag of chips and a bag of combos, which is many, many points more than I want to spend. I kind of want this laptop. Mine's taking a big old crap on me, and it's three ninety nine right now. You mean three hundred ninety nine dollars? Yeah. It's silver. It doesn't seem as heavy. It's the same size as my other one, though. It doesn't seem as heavy. I don't necessarily know if I want to spend the money on that right now, though. So, we got home a while ago. Um, I took off my makeup. I was going to sit down and film, but then I was like, oh, do I really want to do that? And I didn't. So, um, I'm going to go... I'm going to do that um, tomorrow. I think I'm just going to dedicate a couple hours of my day to sitting in front of this camera and recording something. I don't know what, but it's going to be something. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, so we're not really doing anything right now. I think we're just kind of hanging out. I ended up not getting that laptop. It was 8 gigs of RAM. No, it was 16 gigs of RAM, which is good, and 1 terabyte of memory, but it wasn't that great of a deal. And honestly, if I'm going to spend $400 on a computer, I kind of just want to get a desktop to sit in my living room and just have it be there all the time. So that's what's going to go on tonight. And I'll talk to you guys tomorrow.